folks, and welcome back to yet another episode of Parsons Productions, episode 356 or whatever of the uh, Suzuki SV650 restoration build. Today's episode, we have a insane, insane amount of shenanigans in store. Right here in this box is a 2006 Suzuki SV650 rear subframe. This right here is my 2006 Suzuki SV650 with a damaged subframe. However, as you are all aware, this bike has a cracked mainframe. And I have been practicing a ton with the TIG welding and I have fairly good confidence that we should be able to get the, uh, the frame, ooh, a little dirty there. The frame welded up back into a usable state. If you take a quick peek, we have this joint right here. This joint is the cracked portion right here. This rear subframe's gotta come off, and then this one's gotta get welded on there. It's a tiny little crack right there we gotta weld, and it's the exact same thing on the other side. This one's all cracked as well too, but other than that, that's it. So today's episode, we are removing this rear subframe, and we will be welding that. How will I be doing that exactly? Well, I've got this welding blanket. I'm gonna be throwing that in there just to prevent anything I'm here getting melted. I'm gonna lay the bike on its side really carefully and cross the fingers for the best of luck. You know, I, I've got confidence. I think this could work. There's a lot of things that could go wrong, but you know, I'm excited. Let's, let's get into today's episode. I'm gonna take a little video of how things are put together. Cause I know I'm gonna have some trouble later. I'm like, darn it, where'd this piece go? So I want us to have decent video documentation of everything and how it's put together. Just so I don't have any issues later. Why am I using hand tools? I have power tools. Every time. I have power tools, but I just keep forgetting to use them. There is one removed SV650 for your subframe. Tell you the truth, the bike looks really odd without a subframe right now. It kind of looks like one of those chopped motorcycles. It's not what really look I'm going for. We're gonna go ahead and lay the bike down on its side, and very gently, of course. And then we will lay a nice uh, fireproof blanket down between the application. And we're gonna clamp it really tightly and practice really, really slowly, but I think this should uh, should work out really well. All right, and here goes nothing. I don't like this, better than nothing. Here is my fireproof blanket we'll be using. Uh, this is literally just fiberglass, um, and it says it's good up to like 800 something degrees, so I think it's more than 800, I think it's like 1600 degrees, but yeah, it, it should work well. I'm gonna double it back over itself so it has more potential for not catching on fire. And I'm gonna kinda lay it around so nothing does catch on fire. Okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for, I have this guy all clamped up here, surrounded by the welding blanket. Motorcycles on the side, I got the TIG welding equipment all set up. Uh, I'm gonna helmet up here pretty soon and see what we can do. I did grind the edges down a little bit so I have a nice surface to weld upon. I'm a little nervous about this, but uh, wish me luck. Okay, so if you ever need any welding done by your local Parsons Productions, don't call me. Cause I suck at welding. I don't know how structural this is. However, this isn't my first time doing this, as, as you may uh, not have guessed. This is the next day, and I messed around with this like the entire day. Like I, I welded it on, and then I just put some pressure on it, and it snapped off, and I was like, well, that's not gonna work. I tried like six or seven times. No, it wasn't that many times. It was like three or four times. I'm not that bad of a welder, but I, it, it wasn't, wasn't penetrating deep enough into the metal, so. This time, hopefully, it's a little bit less cold of a weld. I need to replace this frame eventually. I think it might just be easier to buy a whole new frame. I, I, I found a frame online. It's like a around a hundred dollars for a new frame. I'm gonna stand the bike up, back up. I'm gonna do a little bit of a pressure test on it. If it breaks, we're back to square one. We're gonna try to weld it again. If it doesn't break, we're gonna weld the other side and we might, just might, just might be on to uh, putting all uh, blue back together. Can't wait. 
So it's starting to look like a motorcycle again. The rear subframe is on. Uh, not not very well. It's just uh, tacked on there with a couple bolts. My plan right now is I'm going to prepare this next bracket. I'm going to weld it. And then the ultimate test, I need to sit on this like I'm going really, really fast. Because I'd rather have this kind of part here in the garage than on the highway doing uh, freeway speeds. So, God, I cannot imagine this thing's breaking loose on freeway speeds. Oh, that would be, that would be terrible. Anyway, I need to tack that one up and do the ultimate test. If it can survive that, it can survive anything. And then maybe later, the winter season, when it's not riding weather, I'll, I'll go ahead and order the frame and we'll tear this thing straight down to uh, the nitty gritty and we'll get that frame swapped out. Other than that, let's get to welding the next bracket. This thing is the best. Day three of welding this stupid motorcycle. It's not stupid, I love you, don't, I didn't mean that. Anyway, the brackets are freaking on. And that's freaking great. Are they pretty? Absolutely not. They're really ugly, actually. They're like really ugly. That's okay. They're on and they're gonna hold. They're gonna hold. Anyway, so now that those are officially welded together, we can go ahead and start reassembly, which is awesome. Reassembly is always an exciting step. And our first step in this is routing the, uh, the rear mud flap to the rear subframe. And you also feed this wire harness in through the rear subframe. Now it's just reverse order and understanding how this all went back together. And it shouldn't be too hard, let's, uh, let's get on to that. The bike is finally wrapped up. You can see it is all put back together. Project rebuild, the tail is complete. What's left is we need to add oil, we need to add coolant, we need to put the fuel tank back on, and it'll be all set. I cannot wait to see how she runs exactly. I'm a little nervous on that. Other than that, I thank you for watching this episode of Parsons Productions and everything else here on the channel. Stay tuned until next time.